Hi everybody, my name is Jaden. My name is Eli. I'm Jason. And I'm Caden. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel. And one day we're going to get this intro dialed in and we just could not figure this one out. We have uh, our, our precious Nicole, she's over on the other side. She's here today too. I'm sure she says hi somewhere, but we are doing what we always do, which is um, celebrating Yah's, uh, just his love for all of us and the uh, the amazingness of our creator. And every single day is another day that we should praise him, we should worship him. And um, Eli, give me a couple of blessings that you have not given me before. What are you happy, what are you glad, what are you blessed with Yah about? What are you thanking Yah for today? Um, well, the sun, because we have, we have solar power and we got power today. Yeah, we, um, we ran out of juice, so we didn't have any juice. So. Uh, thanks for the grass, that our cows have grass to eat. Yeah, grass to eat. We actually have, it's like free food, but it's a lot of work. You got to labor it up and do it. But yeah, absolutely. Jade. Um, I'm thankful that we woke up today. Everyone woke up today. Yeah, well, I guess we're all alive. That's good. Next. Um, I am thankful for our dogs. Um, they can be a pain, but they're also a blessing. They also bring a lot of happiness into the house. They do bring a lot of happiness, and they also bring a lot of strife. Nicole, what do you got? She's over there. I'm putting her on under the bus. I'm thankful for our YouTube family. She's thankful for our YouTube family, if you didn't hear. All right, so I am thankful for Yahoo's amazing designs when it comes to human um, bodies. Um, for the last couple of weeks, I've had mangled hands, and um, I was set it for, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't even know how long it was ago that I got my hands bit, but, uh, I discovered that brushing your teeth with two fingers is extremely hard as you're sitting there jamming your toothbrush into your gums, trying to make this one happen. I felt like, uh, I felt very helpless. And, um, as I am learning and, and trying to adapt with less fingers on the first day it happened, I, I literally had two fingers left, um, one on each hand. And, um, as I as I sit there and fumble around for like the last couple of weeks, and everything's better now. Praise I'll praise to Yah, but I, I really really appreciate the way the hand is set up. You have four fingers and you have a thumb, and I you have you have uh, fingerprints at the end for your grips that you can feel things. Um, we can touch hot, we can touch cold, we can figure this out, and um, I, I just got to thinking, you know, if if uh, you know as I'm dealing with the injury, if I have uh, two fingers, or if we, Yah had given us three fingers and a thumb, how clumsy we would be, and how amazingly articulate we are based upon his designs. And you, I cannot find a single design that our creator has done that there's something flawed. I cannot find a single thing that I would say, oh, well, you know, uh, if I only had one more finger on the side of my hand or my nose is up above my eyebrows or something, there's nothing, there's nothing like that. Everything that we have... It has been designed from, from our bodies all the way to our animals, all the way to nature, to the sun coming up and the moons and the, not the moons, but the, the moon. And, you know, it's all amazing. I find it is extremely amazing that our creator loves us so much that he put us in a giant planetarium. It's not planetarium. What is it? A terranium. Terranium is the word. He put us in a giant terranium. And um, this is where we we're meant to be. And so, yeah, I'm very appreciative of him, and that is the blessings I have. So much love to our digital family out there. I thank you guys very much for um, spending this time and hanging out with us, and we are diving into this. And before um, I go too far in here, we haven't really fleshed this one out, but we are up to, that's, uh, that's Leonidas. Leonidas, Leo, um, saying hi. He says hi to everybody. And um, so the, we haven't fleshed this one out, but Commandment 52 is all of Leviticus 11. And so we are trying to, um, we will figure that all out, get that all nice and neat and tidied up in there. Thanks to uh, Nicole. She is our great receptionist here that does all this stuff for us. And um, yeah, so we are 52 commands. And the last one, the, the 52 had a tremendous amount. The bottom line is you we need to obey Yahoo's dietary laws. All right, so with that, we are actually, I, I got rid of the BLB today because we didn't have any internet, we didn't have any power, we didn't have anything. So I started with this, and um, let's see, where am I at here? 12, right here. And so I wanted to, this is the Septuagint, and this is the Greek Septuagint, and Kindle is kind of a janky program, um, if you ask me. But um, this is a real short chapter, but there is some stuff we should probably discuss. And so let us begin. Gentlemen, how you doing? Good, good. good. Everyone okay? Yep. And no no problems? Nope. So. No issues. Cage, you took a flying leap already this morning. I was just... That's Banged his knee all up. Normal 
normal wear and tear on humans. Yeah. On, on, on jungle farm life. Yeah, the cows normal. cows broke out this morning. We had to go find them, and uh, then Kate was fencing stuff up, and I guess he flew into the fence or something of the sort. So, but they're uh, still on their land. But they're still on their land, yeah. They didn't run too far. They just ran to another part of it. Okay, so let's begin. Leviticus 12. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yashrael, saying, If a woman have conceived seed and born a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of the separation for her infirmity, she shall be unclean. Now, when I read that this morning and then I tried to read it, it didn't make any, I didn't, I don't understand. I understand how a, I don't know, okay, here's my problem. I don't understand how a woman can conceive, <laughs> wife's laughing at me. I don't know how a woman can conceive a seed. Um, is my problem. Mine doesn't say that. Um, so what does yours say? I read verse 2. Speak to the children of Yashrael, saying, When a woman has conceived and has given birth to a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days, as in the days of her monthly separation. She is unclean. Okay, so that sounds better, and it is Septuagint. I, I, I don't know why I'm sticking with the Sefer, but I am. Uh, and so in the Septuagint, and the Lord spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak to the children of Yashrael, Israel, then thou shalt say to them, Whatsoever woman shall have conceived and born a male child shall be unclean seven days. She shall be unclean according to the days of separation for her monthly courses. All right. Now, I don't want to get in too graphic or too details of this course, but what is... The monthly courses is obviously the cycles, right? right? We're dealing with it, and the boys are all turning blush red. You're not going to hear a lot from me this episode. <laughs> You're not going to hear <laughs> Yes, we should. Okay, um, now, this is this is about a male, a male being born, right? Okay, I right. do want to say that, um, okay, we're going to read this next one on when he gives birth to a female, and then okay. I'll explain. Okay, so when it is a male, she is unclean seven days. There's the sevens again, right? Everything that Yah has is cycles of seven. Right. And, uh, you know, we're getting into kind of a, a, a debate on the, on a, another channel we have that we're talking about. People think and believe that you can pick. The question was, if, if somebody works six days a week and they celebrate the seventh day as a Shabbat, even though it's not a Shabbat, is that wrong? And yeah, the answer is yes, absolutely. We have to be on our creator's calendar. It's in cycles of seven. It's jubilees are 50. If you are taking a a year cycle, let's just take, take for instance, if you're taking a year cycle and you, you cut off a few days to create a new year, when you are to the Jubilees or when you're to something else, you're, you're missing days, right? And so this is why we have to get this right. So if, we are, if you are a lunar calendar keeper and you have a week that splits in half, you are out of the cycles of seven. And none of that makes any sense at all. It talks from the very beginning. And there were no Saturdays, right? There's no such thing. The argument was coming up that, oh, you find it somewhere that the Saturday is, uh, is what it is. And it's not the, wor the word Saturday is pagan, right? There was no such thing as Saturday. There was seventh day. Nowhere ever. And there's no such thing as Aviv and, and uh, Tammuz and all these month names that are all pegging out of Babylon, right? And so we have day one and through day seven. Cade, what'd you have? Um, on this, it's like, uh, if you were going to celebrate it when you want, that's like taking someone's anniversary and saying, why don't we just make it two days later? It wouldn't work, right? It wouldn't be as special. And that's what y'all want is he wants his days to be special. He wants them sanctified. If you say, I'm going to celebrate your birthday Three days before your birthday, it's really not your birthday. It doesn't feel the same as when it's actually your birthday. But on top of that, there's only one day that is blessed. And you might it might feel good in your heart. You might think that you're onto the right track. But there is only one day that is blessed. And if you are wrong, then you're missing out on the blessings that Yah is going to, to deliver. And, All right. and the way to know that they were celebrating the seventh day Shabbat on Saturday was that if you look in back in historical texts, you don't have the day Saturday. You don't hear that they were on, and on Saturday they rescued on Shabbat. But if you see that they changed this Shabbat, everyone was worshiping on Saturday. And then until the Catholic leader, I forgot his name. I don't know if anyone remembers it. Constantine? Was that the guy? That's the, his, he wasn't a Catholic leader, but... It, um, one of them changed it on and back in the day in 321. That's Constantine. To... Uh, to Sunday, he's like, this will be the day of rest instead. This and, will Yeah, and it's it's soul victus. And so if you're like your argument is based upon Saturday and Sunday, it's not Saturday. It, our seventh day happens to fall up on a seventh day uh, on the Gregorian calendar on a, Shab a Saturday. So that, that's what it is. All right. So back to this. We're in we're in cycles of seven. Um so and she's she's unclean for seven days. All right, let's next let's read on to the next thing. 
And in the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. And she shall then continue in the blood of her purifying thirty and three, three and thirty days. She shall touch no hallowed thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purifying are fulfilled. All right, now I'm trying to get my head wrapped around this, guys. What does it say? So she's 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 unclean for thirty three days after she has the child circumcised. She, but right, but before that, she's unclean for seven days. Mm-hmm. The eighth day, she circumcises the child. It says she on mm-hmm. this one right here. So, and then after that, she's she's unclean for thirty three days after she she circumcised. So I don't. I think she was like on the way to being cling on the seventh day, right? Mm-hmm. Is anyone with me? Yeah. Um, uh, so uh, mine is a she on the third verse. Was, I need to call up here. And yeah. on, what do you got? And on. Please come up to the, come up I to the mic. One. I, so we're a bunch of dudes. We don't know what you're saying. Here. After a woman gives birth, she continues in her cycle for like thirty days. What does that mean? Hey, can you come to the mic and tell us this? I just told you what it means. Okay, she says they continue in their cycle for 30 days. I don't understand that. I don't either. I'm blown away. I never knew that. So, Uh, this is my version of number four. Then she shall remain separated 33 days to be purified from her loss of blood. She shall touch no hallowed thing nor come into the the court of the sanctuary until the days of her purifying are over. So, is it saying that she lost all the blood or because she touched the kid's... She loses blood. blood for thirty days. Oh, you're still you're still bleeding. You still bleed out. I didn't know that. I didn't know any of this. I'm sorry. This one I mean, might be rated a little different than the yeah, last. I don't. I, I didn't know this. Okay, so I guess you bleed for continue on. So I guess after seven days she wouldn't be cling, oh. but she's able to circumcise a kid or something of the sort. All right. Is, did we get that? Is that yes. correct? Okay. Well, we learn something new every day, guys. All right. Uh, I didn't know this. All right. Five. But if she bear a female child. Then she shall be uncling two weeks, as in her separation, and she shall continue in the blood of her purifying three score and six days. So we have a 33 and a 66. And those are both, I, I, I won't want to say satanic numbers, but the, the demons and Luciferians love to hang out with 33, and they love their 66s. But this is interesting, right? So does anyone have any idea why you would be dealing with... Why is it doubled with a, a, a female? I, I assume know? because the uh, naturally females are born weaker and they need more time with their mother of like actual What do you mean they're born weaker? Burn like, like they need more nutrients in their body. What are you talking about? That's not true. That's, that's, not that's true. what I heard before. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you We're guys discussing. explained to me. Uh, no, I don't like, think so. A couple years back you No, I don't think so. Me. I've never said that. It's because when Adam, <laughs> when Adam and Eve were created... And he didn't let her into the garden. Yeah, I think you read this in Jasher Jubilees. Like they, because they did the same thing when they, like, since they basically had their birthing, he uh, gave Adam a certain amount of days here, like the forty days or something like that, and then he gave Eve the sixty-six. All right, so but it's it's interesting because a male is only thirty-three days, female is sixty-six. It's doubled. It's doubled. Just Why? Like, it's just like when he created Adam and Eve, and he kept them out of the garden. He didn't let Eve in. Till double the time. Right, that he when they were created, they were created outside of the garden. You read that in one of the books. Is it Adam and Eve, or is it Jash, Jash or Jubilee? Somewhere in one of the extracurricular books talks about that. Yeah, but we don't know why it's double the time. Okay, no, because you're not you're not you're not circumcising a female, right? You're, right? It's only a male, so there's no extra blood there. Um, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Anyone knows? Let us know. Yeah, if you guys know, certainly let us know. All right, so Septuagint. I'm moving it over here. Okay, six. And when the days of her purifying are fulfilled for a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly unto the priest. Cade's still looking in shock. He's all upset about this whole thing. Cade, it's, it's, these are our family, right? These, these guys are our family. It doesn't matter um, where you picked up that information. He says he picked it up from us, but... I don't remember that. I do not recall. Do not recall. <laughs> I don't think there's a, a female any weaker than a male. I think it's, it'll all well, be the I've same. I've never had a female, so I wouldn't know. We'd have no ideas. All right, so anyway, <laughs> don't look astonished, Kate. You'll be all right. All right, so anyway, and so what do we have here, guys? Uh, she, she has to, then she has to like, bring, after she gets cleansed, she has to bring like a sacrifice. Right, so, and the, so the days of her purifying are fulfilled, so it's either 33 or 66 days. For a son or for a daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon. So you need to bring a ram, a lamb and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly unto the priest. Now, why, sin would, offering. why would she have a sin offering? 
Because she touched blood, maybe? She touched blood. She's unclean. I think that's what it would be. And so... I mean, I, giving birth really isn't a sin, so... But, it's just like but a, you're in blood. Blood, so I guess you'd be it's unclean. It's not like a, it's just a burnt offering, not a guilt offering. It's just like an offering to Yahuwah. It's uh, like this, reclaimed there's yourself. There's a burnt offering. Yeah, there's a burnt offering. Yeah, yeah there's, there's, two, there's two here. So uh, she has to do one, she has to do a, one for a burnt offering... What, okay, why why two different ones? Why not just one but it, for the it's cleansing? It's interesting as well that she brings a lamb. A lamb would be expensive compared to it's still a. Still expensive having a child back then. <laughs> yeah, it's real expensive. It's it's not cheap. But look at it. If you, I guess, if you're really poor, you got the turtle dove. So, right. okay. but it's either a a lamb of the first year and a young pigeon or, tur- or a turtle. Dove. A turtle. So I wonder if it's a lamb or that's a lamb. A pigeon or a turtle dove, one of the Whatever two. Whatever she can afford, I think. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know. Does she need a lamb and a pigeon? I think she does because it says a lamb for a year old as a burnt offering and a young pigeon or turtle dove as a sin offering. So I think that she has to bring a lamb for the burnt offering. Okay, well, what happens if you can't afford a lamb? Find the neighbor. See if yeah, the pigeon you ought to be, you ought to be able to cue one of those things in and grab one of the holes and turtle dove as well. I think they had vendors for pigeons. I'm thing. sure they did. I'm sure Messiah Yahushua chased them outside with a whip as well. I think he did. <laughs> he beat them up. <laughs> All right, so seven, let's read what that says. And let me look up top. Let's look at Septuagint what it says. And when the days of her purification shall be fulfilled for a son or daughter, she shall bring a lamb of a year old without blemish for a whole burnt offering and a young pigeon or... Okay, so it's either a pigeon or turtle dove. For the sin offering. So, yeah, so she needs a lamb regardless. Up to the burnt offering. Right, to the priest. And he shall... Pres- okay, so seven. Um, I like the Septuagint better, I think. Who shall offer it before Yahuwah and make an atonement for her and she shall be cleansed from the issue of her blood. This is the Torah for her that has a ma- that has born a male or a female. And if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles. Two turtles. It must be turtle doves. Yeah. yeah. It says turtles there. Sacrificing the turtles on the altar. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> no, think so. No, not the turtles. No, they're unclean. The turtles are unclean. That'd be sacrilegious. All right, shall bring two turtle doves. I think this separate yeah, mine says is up. Turtle doves. Or two young pigeons, the one for the ascending smoke offering and the other for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for her and she shall be clean. All right, let's look at the Septuagint here. And, seven, and he shall present it before the Lord. And that's the wrong translation of the Lord. That actually means Baal in Hebrew. And the priest shall make atonement for her and shall purge her from the fountain of her blood. That's not good. Um, fountain of her blood. This is the law of her who bears a male or a female. Um, and if she cannot afford a lamb, then she shall take two turtle doves or two young pigeons, one for a whole burnt offering and one for a sin offering, and the priest shall make the atonement for her, and she shall be purified. It's a really small text, guys. I'm super sorry. I can't read that. Go ahead. What did you have? Jay? I didn't have anything to say. You had something to say? I don't think I did. You look like you did. Nothing? I think I was reading along with you. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's it. Um, we are probably not the most qualified to actually read this chapter. Um, uh, we do have Nicole. So thank you, Nicole, for the help on this. And, um, Cade, don't worry, buddy. We're all part of the fam here. And uh, I don't have anything else for this. Um, there's no... There's no com- I mean, the commandment is nothing we can do. We can't... Um... All right. So, I mean, what would you do? How would you fulfill this today's world? I... Don't know. I don't know how you do. You can't bring a sacrifice. Um, that should be. This should be super easy. I mean, repent. You gotta repent, maybe. Yeah, as repent. Yoshua. We got Messiah but, Yahushua. But, but where do you stay when you're unclean? How do you do the unclean part? Well, that's um, that's an, I guess something for another day because that is something we get into is women's cycles and um, the separation of that, which is very. Is, it'll be an interesting topic for sure. Oh, yeah, and I think three needs to go under the command of the other um, circumcised child on eight day. Three should definitely go. Yes, under yes. That. Three, Nicole. Will you get? I don't know. I don't know if three? these are commands. I don't know if these should be commands or not. It would be a commandment if you were in the land. If you were in the land and you had priests, this would be the commandment, right? And if not, I mean, you're still going to be unclean. Like, like a female would still be unclean probably 33 and 66 days, I would imagine, in the eyes of Yah. But this is something that you would not, right? Where does it say? You, you're not to, let's see, go into, uh, nor come in, on verse 4, it says, nor come into the sanctuary. So you're not even supposed to go near Yah's stuff. No, you have any any uh, Kadosh things. Yeah, and I mean, again, this goes to how does Yah view cleanliness? How does Yah view blood? And it's it's sacred, right? Yeah. Both of those are sacred. Blood is sacred, and cleanliness is is absolutely sacred. He obviously made it so it stays inside of us. It was to say inside of us, and he doesn't. It want is out. It's like when it comes outside of us, it becomes unclean. 
Yeah, well, yeah, we're not supposed to touch it. Life is in the blood, and it literally, how do we live? Our entire body, if we did not, we breathe in, and right from our lungs, it creates oxygen into our blood, and, you know, that's that's the process of life, and when we bleed out, we're, we're I mean, nothing lives. Right. So, all right, well, I think that's it. Does anyone have anything? It was an odd chapter. Uh, yeah, it's only going to get more odder. Odd. Anybody who has anything on the uh, under why the women would be out longer than the male child. Yeah, that would be good to know. If yeah, you guys out knows. there, uh, let us know. And uh, we would love to hear it. And, uh, yeah, much love to all the family out there. We value every single one of you guys. I know sometimes it gets a little goofy here we feel a little goofy when we do this stuff um because we're still trying to figure this stuff out um we are no experts in any of this we've read through this a gazillion times on our own but as far as reading it through to comprehend what exactly the commands are we've never done that so this is our first time of going through this and calculating the commands so i would i would say for women that are coming out of birth that are coming out of uh, you know the birthing process that you would be unclean 33 and 66 days uh, 33 for a male and 66 for a female what if they had twins what if you had twins what if you had a male child and a female child you'd probably have to double up the, the pigeons well, or, or just, no no I think it should be full 66 yeah, days full 66, be full 66 days but you'd double I would think you would double up the, the sacrifice would be my guess maybe I okay. mean there's two there's two things and then there then what if it's the first born of the twin or who would whoever the firstborn is, you'd have to sanctify that, which is what we're still trying to figure out as well how that exactly works. They didn't, maybe they didn't have twins that air or something. Of course they had twins. I, I what are you like, talking about? That's a joke. Jacob and Nisa. I know, <laughs> but uh, it, I feel like it was either should be something that's stated or there. It's like, there, what, if, what if you have two kids? I had uh, no context on that. Yeah, there is no context on that. I would, yeah, I don't know. I don't think you're you're going to be unclean any longer than those time set because think, it's I all the same blood flow. If you had two kids, I think you just do the normal time for if it's a male yeah. child or maybe two females. Right. If you had a male 66. and a female, then you would be 66 regardless. Right. You'd do the male up to this. You wouldn't be unclean. So you're literally, like, you wouldn't be able to go into the temple for a while. Right? Yeah, it's you like would. over two months. 66 days is a long time. It is a long time. A little it's an interesting months. number, too. That we have, and uh, I don't know why that number either. I don't know. Yaw's numbers. I we, feel like it's like it's like the weird number. Like it said, like seventy-seven days or something. He chose like sixty-six. It's weird how we like kind of like thirty-three and sixty-six. I, I mean, it's Yaw's like, ways, man. Uh, it's unfortunate that the devils and demons have corrupted numbers and made all their uh, numerology and and done all that creepy stuff. So right, he had the numbers first. So yeah, he, Yaw's Yaw's numbers first. So all 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 is good. Okay, anyone have anything? I got nothing. Read your Bibles. Yeah, read your Bibles. Pray. Um, seek Yah in all his ways, and we will see you guys again. Much love to everybody out there. All right. Shalom. Shalom.